Yesterday I made um, a quick little video to introduce you to my next sun catcher, which was basically some cute little bees and some and a clear beehive, and uh, contemplations of this rub and buff. This stuff. is the uh, one called this one here, Autumn Gold, and I've rubbed it on this textured glass or oh, some weeks ago, and it's been sitting in the morning sun, I think, for about a month. And you can see there's just no deterioration at all. When you hold it up directly to the light, with like full on light shining through, you can't see it. So that's something to be mindful of. If I turn it over on dark glass, I oh, can't see anything. Even with the light shining through, it's like nothing is there. So I'm te going to test it out full on with my beehive. So the questions that spring to my mind when I'm testing something like this, or experimenting, I'm really experimenting, because it all sounded so pretty. So if we rub it on clear glass on the rough side and have it facing up, how does it last? If we do it underneath, does it make a difference? What does it look like? And the other thing is about, because it's got wax in it, I'm wondering if it will even stick for glass on glass, which is what the sun catch is all about, um, or whether I need to think about some other glue. So it's going to be an interesting little play. If it's on the outside here like this, how long does this last with the wax? And would I need to redo it maybe in a year or two? With this one, I've already washed it with warm soapy water and it made zero difference. So let me have a look now at, if I rub some metho on it, will that make a difference? And if I use terps, will that make a difference? Almost forgot my thank yous. The person who introduced me to this rough and buff, um, sorry, rub and buff, is Rachel from Groovy Glass. Because they, stained glasses do a lot of patinering of um, solder and such. So our first conclusion, of course, given that I've washed it, um, and it wasn't even all over, I didn't want to waste too much, um, is that it'd be just absolutely perfect for indoors. So if you're making uh, textured glass Christmas decorations, for example, this would be terrific. If you were doing, let's say, something more exotic like a similar pattern to this, perhaps in a beautiful turquoise texture, and you rub the gold over it because you're making a peacock feather. How amazing would that look? Oh my God, I'm so, so excited already. So let's see if it's going to last the distance for our doorsy before I even bother experimenting with my beehive. The first thing I'm going to test is metho, see what that does. Well, pretty much nothing on the on the pad, so I should be able to just polish that off. Well, that's pretty good. Next test is terps, and let's see what that does. Because it's a wax, so the terps just might break it down. This is us just testing how tough is this stuff. It seems to be rubbing some off. I think with, eventually with a lot of elbow grease, you could probably take that colour right off. White vinegar, 50% mixed with water. So I'll just pop that on there. So here I go with the white vinegar. What does that do? A little bit seems to be coming off, but not so much as one might think. So test it out on a piece of glass, if you're going to get into it, to make sure it's going to suit your conditions. And the last thing I'll use is a cleaner. I'll just wait for all this to go. I probably should go wash it with water. I will. Big product in Australia. We have lots of eucalyptus trees. Great for cleaning out the sinuses, but also uh, really good as a cleaner. So you want to be careful with this because if you rub it in your eyes, they're going to burn. So be sensible with eucalyptus oil and wash your hands when you're done. Firm rub. And look at that, it's holding true to form. It's a great cleaner. Eucalyptus oil, clear, clean the spots off a, a giraffe. That's probably the best cleaner so far, way better than the mineral terps. So now we understand what cleaning will do to it. 
so inside or outside should be okay and of course the bit that you're all been waiting for how do we use it we've talked about why because we want things to be pretty we've talked about this being mica and uh, wax mix and that's what it is We've looked at a whole bunch of what if it gets dirty and what can I clean it with and what will happen if I use certain cleaning products. So now it's how do I get it on and what else am I going to test? So tests are about the what if questions. Like what if this happens or what if that happens? So we'll see what else we can do with this. I did say detailed testing <laughs> because I'm a nerd and I like to experiment. And I'm sure there's a couple of you out there. I know of one other who will be watching this with great intent. And I love you too. So you want to do a half a smidge. As small as you can do it on your little cloth. And then just start rubbing it in. You can see that that's going a long way. So I'm rubbing that into the lovely pattern. And what I'll do with this is allow it to cure. And then... I'll cut it up into hexes and sprinkle it in amongst the clear ones. So this way I've got rubbed it in there, that, so that's on one side. Now I'm going to turn it over, flip side, and do it on the smooth side. So I haven't added any more. I'm still working on my smidge. I need another little bit of a smidge. I don't know what it'll do on the clear side, but... You don't know till you try. Imagine if this was on the back side of a beautiful red and orange transparent bit of delicious stained glass. So that's on the other side. So it needs to be a little more even. I don't know that I'd be bothered with that. But I'm going to also do what if it's on both sides. So my interest here is will it stick with the hybrid silicon glue so this one i'm going to do back side and front side way too much i got way too carried away here let me just spread it a bit further flip it over whoops let's make straight lines or we'll paint them one direction um, and then put it on this side and see what we get we're actually changing the whole color of this glass it's going to be gold So this is going to be good. I'm going to have to think about where I want to put them. Oh my goodness me, I did get carried away. I just don't need... I did say smidge. What am I doing? So now I'm giving it a good rub in. So I'm not keen on the smooth now side. Me, I'll see if I can get that nice and close. But so that it's you can actually see it. Because it's not very photogenic. This looks lovely closer will it focus and then here is just on the bottom side for this glass no nah. but different glass I think it would work really well so here is a gold glass I'll just hold it up to the light up to the light it looks black so we may not want that on our clear glass activities very important to have a look at that that meant, conclusion is you need to choose your glass. So remember I said on this one, when I held it up to the light, it was like it wasn't there. It was still just plain purple glass. So do do a test patch first. So it's all cut up and you can see how just mixing it up a bit just really creates some additional interest. So I'm really liking the effect of that. But it's then, how do we best glue it? I'm going ahead to use it on my uh, sun catcher because I know that when the light's shining through it, I won't be able to see it. But in the mornings and the evenings, I bet I will. I'm pretty excited still. Look at that one. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs>